Welcome back, Wolfpack. Welcome back to another Terraria video. I'm Ronnie Lee. Last week, we defeated the Brain of Cthulhu twice. Not once, but twice. And it was amazing. So if you guys didn't see that episode, make sure to check it out. Uh, but anyways, this week, it's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all you guys who are watching this. And uh, yeah, I do have to fill you in on some things. Because during um, in-between episodes... Uh, I did go adventuring. Well, not really adventuring, but I did camp in basically a desert for like a week. And I was, my my main goal on doing that was basically to, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, why, Ronnie, would you spend a whole week in a desert in Terraria instead of being in this awesome home? I'm going to explain that. Basically, uh, my, objective wa my objective was to get some antlion mandibles which are basically uh claws from antlions uh but they don't always pop up they are very rare and they don't always drop those mandibles but basically you need like 10 of those plus topaz plus illegal gun parts which i did buy in an episode and basically i made this awesome deadly uh sand gun and it does use sand as ammo, which I do have a thousand uh, sand, uh, but it is amazing. Just look at its stats. Just just stop for a moment and just look at its stats. It's 33 range damage, 8% critical strike, very fast speed, average knockback, 10 per plus 10% damage and plus 13% speed. Pretty pretty damn good. Pretty dang good. So, anyways, this episode I was kind of debating. I, I, I didn't know what to do. It was Thanksgiving. I'm not really sure to make this a Thanksgiving-based episode uh, or fight a boss. Because, to be honest, we did fight three bosses and we defeated three bosses in a row. So I'm not really sure if you guys want to see that. Uh, let me know in the comments below for next week what you guys want to see. but uh, Or for Tuesday, at least. Because, yeah, I do record this twice a week. But anyways, this episode... Uh, I, I'm gonna go fight a little boss. Now, I asked everyone, what type of boss should I face next? We did defeat the Eye of Cthulhu, the Goblin Army, uh, um, I'm not really sure. I think it was the Brain of Cthulhu. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. So, uh, I did build, as you guys can remember, if you guys seen the episode, I did build, like, a pumpkin-themed, uh restaurant which is like halloween based but it's also I, I i guess it can pass as a thanksgiving thing so uh yeah over here i did build like a pumpkin based restaurant which can go with the uh thanksgiving theme so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh people said oh why don't you go face skeletron and i was like you know what i did see some episodes on people trying to f defeat skeletron and I'm I'm not think I'm I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think I'm ready to just take him on just yet. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know um in the comments below if you guys think I'm ready and stuff. Uh but for now, you know what? I I did make a crown, a gold crown. It doesn't matter if it's gold or platinum, but I did make a gold crown and uh yeah, basically to make a gold crown, basically you need I believe it's 30 bars, 30 gold bars and one ruby to make a gold crown. And also you have to have uh, 99 slime uh, or gel, 99 gel. And I do have both of them. And I did go ahead and make this thing, which is basically a slime crown. And what it does, it summons uh, the king slime, which is what I'm going to do. And I want to see how effective my sand gun is. So I'm going to use that against them. And basically, we're going to defeat them. We're, we're just going to beat them. I, I just, I, I, you know what? You know what? It is awesome. It is awesome. And it's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah. Let's let's go do that. Let's go over here to where I they did carve out a little area to fight little bo uh, bosses. Which I do need to make one uh, way closer to home. Because this one is pretty far away. And here we are. Here we are. So, let's go ahead and let's go spawn him in. And let's go see how big he is. Because I did hear he is very big. Uh, I'm not going to use my magic mirror because I don't want to accidentally uh, go home. Let's go put a healing potion there, uh, which we will keep in hand. And yeah, well, let's use our sand gun because I want to see how awesome this thing is. So let's go spawn this thing in. And there it is. The king slime has awoken. Now, I, I don't know what, what side he's going to come from. Hopefully, I'm, I'm not really sure. Ooh, 
Okay, no, this is a regular slime. This isn't the king slime. If that was a king slime, I would just laugh. That is not the king slime. Where is? Where are you, king, king slime? Where are you coming from? Whoa! Whoa! What is that thing? And it's pretty stuck. Okay, it is stuck. But uh, no. Why? Why are you stuck down here? Actually, let's go. Let's go. Uh, hopefully it can make its way out. And oh, uh, oh, Jesus! Okay, I, he jumped very far. Uh, so let's let's go shoot him with the sand gun. Let's go. Let's go see if it does a whole bunch of damage. It does place sand uh, everywhere. It can, it can get kind of messy, and it is a uh, pretty. Um, oh, there's there's also a whole bunch of slime. Let's go use our star cannon because I think that's gonna do a whole bunch of damage. This this king slime, to be honest, to be fair with you, he does do some damage. He does do some damage, but we we already got him. Like, look at that. Look at that. His his health is just going down. Uh, but to be fair, like every time someone something attacks me, uh, I do release some bees, and yeah, that that does help me out a lot. Uh, but we are getting a whole bunch of gel. He does drop a whole bunch of gel. Let's go shoot him with our space gun. And let's go see if we can take him out just like that. Uh, with range attack. And I can't use my space gun anymore. Let's go uh, use the bee key, uh, the beekeeper. Because it does uh, release some bees. And I think that's going to do a whole bunch of damage to him. He is doing a whole bunch. And we defeated it. We have defeated the king slime. That is awesome. We have defeated him. I think we could have done a way better job trying to defend uh, against them, but you know what? We we did it. We did it. It was it was pretty easy, and I, I'm not really sure. I don't, I'm not really sure. We did take him out uh, pretty fast, and and for the beginning, he was uh yeah he was stuck down there. Uh, so I I'm not really sure if we should just like craft another one and spawn him in and just kill twice, cause. I'm not really sure, but we did get like some sort of tuxedo, so I do want to go home and I do want to see uh, how fancy this this little thing he gave me is. So uh, yeah, let's go uh, let's go take all the slime blocks because yeah, that sand gun does damage, but it also like makes a big mess. And to be fair, we didn't even use that much sand. Uh, we only used, if my math is correct, if I can maths, I think we just used 13 blocks. Uh, which isn't bad, which isn't bad, but we did successfully take out the king slime. Let's go home. Let's go see what we got from him. Hopefully, it gave me some good things. I did read online what it gives you, what it drops. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, he didn't really give us much. He he just gave me he gave me a ninja shirt, which is pretty pretty generous of him. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not really seeing uh, much. He did give us some some gel. Which can be useful if we do want to spawn them back in and stuff like that. But I don't think I have enough to spawn them in. I think you need 99. He did give us some lens. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it. And that was easy. That was totally easy, to be honest. That was pretty easy. Uh, so anyways, yeah. Like, ooh, I forgot to tell you how I got this little guy. This guy has been following me around. He's just a dinosaur I found. No, that's a lie. Actually, um, I did get like 2,000 blocks of silt uh, in between episodes. And I came up here to my awesome extractinator uh, thing over here. I think that's what it's called, an extractinator. But anyways, you basically right-click and it gives you... It turns that silt or slush into like awesome ores, some coins, uh, some things. And I basically got this amber mosquito... Basically, I don't, I'm not really sure why they call it that because it summons a baby dinosaur. Like, why would you call something that summons a baby dinosaur a mosquito? I, I'm not really sure, but it gave me that thing, and that thing's been following me around ever since, and it's pretty awesome. And and when you fly, uh, a, a pterodactyl has to come and bring them to you, which is pretty funny. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's go put this uh, ninja shirt on a mannequin, and uh, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go see how how cool. Uh, this mannequin looks with it. Well, that that's all right. That's all right. But I got a baby dinosaur. I got a baby dinosaur. That is so awesome. Look at its little feet. Look at its little feet. It's amazing. Just amazing. But anyways, yeah, we did. Uh, this is a successful episode. I'm really happy. We defeated another boss. So this is like, what, uh, three to four bosses in a row? Wow, that is pretty amazing. That is incredible, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's see. Uh, I don't really need this glowstone, uh, this lens. Nope, I don't really need that. And uh, yeah, wow. Okay, wow. That was pretty fast. That did happen pretty fast. Uh, defeating that. And uh, as you can see, 
uh, my little uh, animal place is looking just cool. It is amazing. I really like it. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think. We do have a penguin by himself because I couldn't capture any ducks. And I don't think that. I just think they despawn or maybe they fly away, whatever. But yeah, that's going to be uh, the episode there. It is quite a short episode. But to be fair. Ooh. Okay. Okay, there is a blue slime. Okay, but anyways, it is going to be a short episode just because it's Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you guys did enjoy the episode, click the like button with your paw. And uh, if you guys didn't like the episode, let me know why in the comments below. That way I can improve and be more entertaining to you guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're not part of the Wolf Pack, you should join because I'm cool, you're cool, we're all cool. We should be one cool community. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I hope you guys enjoy your, your Thanksgiving. Um, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys did in the comments below and, um, what I should do in the next episode. If I should take out a boss, if I should get, go exploring for something, try to craft something. Just let me know. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Eat a whole bunch of turkey, um, or not. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, if you're part of the Wolfpack, you know what I'm going to say. Stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.